Odds are you've heard about this massive asteroid called Apophis. It will come close to the Earth in 2029, so close that some folks think it could smash into us. But what if I told you there's another near-Earth asteroid out there that's far more terrifying than Apophis? This one is invisible. What I'm talking about is an object named 3 Atlas, which has been classified as a potentially hazardous asteroid. And here's the kicker. There's not much we can do to stop it. We have never before detected an object moving through the solar system that came from outside it. And that's why 3 Atlas has thrown astronomers for such a loop. It's not because it's big. At less than half a kilometer wide, it's smaller than many asteroids NASA's been tracking for decades. It's also not the first interstellar visitor we've spotted. That distinction goes to Oumuamua, which passed Earth's orbit in 2017 and became the first recognized object from interstellar space. But while scientists had tracked Oumuamua for months before and after it flew by Earth, Three Eltas was only officially recognized in March 2023. And because it was already diving toward the sun, we didn't have much time to study it. In fact, it was only sheer luck that any of us noticed it at all. It was spotted independently by three different surveys using three different telescopes. And that's how we know its path around the sun, and, more important, its path relative to Earth. But without more observations, we can't be sure just how dangerous it might be. There's one thing we know for sure, though. It's coming to the inner solar system from afar. But it's not alone. At least four other interstellar objects have made their way into our neck of the woods, including Comet Hayakutake, which graced our night sky back in 1996. Most interstellar visitors come from very far away, and that means they're traveling extremely fast. Take Comet Hayakutake, for instance. When it was first spotted in 1996, it was already inside the orbit of Jupiter, but it reached a speed of nearly 60 kilometers per second, that's roughly 130,000 kilometers per hour. But most interstellar visitors don't stay in the solar system. They just pass right through. Oumuamua, the first interstellar object we discovered, was barreling along at over 70 kilometers per second. And if that speed seems like a bit much, it's because it is. We've never seen anything like it. Three Eltas, on the other hand, is much slower. Right now, it's cruising along at just 18 kilometers per second, slower than most comets that originate within our solar system. And that's why three Eltas has stayed in our solar system and why its path is so hard to predict. Unlike those fast-moving interstellar interlopers, it's likely going to stick around for a while. But unlike comets that form further out in the frigid reaches of our solar system, it has no discernible orbit around the sun. It doesn't even belong here. So, where did it come from, and why is it here? Well, three Atlas may have originated in a star system known as Alpha Centauri, which is just four light years away. That's our closest neighboring star system, and it has two stars similar to our Sun, Alpha Centauri A and B, and a small sun like object named Proxima Centauri. Proxima Centauri orbits the two stars in a tight trio that makes up the center of the Alpha Centauri constellation. And while none of the stars in this system have been confirmed to have planets, we do know that Proxima Centauri has at least one planet. And that's important because there are two theories for how three Atlas wound up in our solar system. One is that it got nudged out of the Alpha Centauri system by a wayward planet. And honestly, that sounds pretty plausible. Planets can get flung out of their systems by passing stars or the gravity of other objects like black holes or neutron stars. If a star happens to swerve too close to the planet, it can disrupt its orbit and send it flying. And that seems to be what happened to 3 Atlas. But this theory raises more questions than it answers. Like if it was pushed out of its system by a planet, where is that planet now? And is it still out there looking for more interstellar roadkill? The other option is that 3 Atlas was intentionally sent here. But who sent it, and why? That's the question that has experts baffled. We simply don't know who or what could have propelled an object like 3 Atlas, especially with the precision needed to alter its trajectory halfway across a star system. To put that distance into perspective, 
It would take light, the fastest thing in the universe, nearly five years to reach Alpha Centauri from Earth. So getting a message from them isn't exactly an option, and interstellar travel for anyone or anything capable of launching such an object would take centuries, if not thousands of years. But here's the thing. We aren't sure that it is an interstellar object. 3 Atlas was initially sighted by the Catalina Sky Survey, a project dedicated to finding and tracking near-Earth asteroids. The survey uses a telescope in Arizona to scan the skies for these space rocks, which are often difficult to spot against the backdrop of the cosmos. It was only later that researchers realized that 3 Atlas was on a trajectory that would take it well beyond Earth's orbit and out into deep space. At first glance, the Catalina folks thought they might have stumbled upon a comet, perhaps one that had been nudged out of the outer solar system by Neptune's gravity. But 3 Atlas was too fast to be a typical comet. Not to mention, comets tend to be a bit messy and unpredictable, whereas 3 Atlas appears to be highly refined and controlled. These conflicting clues led some experts to speculate that 3 Atlas might be more than just a rock. Some have suggested it could be an alien spacecraft or a sort of space probe, perhaps left over from an advanced civilization's first foray into interstellar exploration. But this idea presents its own set of problems. For one thing, 3 Atlas appears to be completely solid. If it's a spacecraft, it's either hollowed out or its outer shell is incredibly thin, which isn't all that common for objects traveling at such high speeds. It also doesn't seem to be emitting any kind of radiation that might hint at onboard equipment. Of course, it's possible that whatever's happening here is beyond our current understanding. Perhaps its technology is so advanced that it's invisible to our rudimentary instruments. But there is one observation that doesn't sit right with me. According to our data, 3 Atlas has no atmosphere, which is odd for an object that's not a rock. Most spacecraft are equipped with some sort of atmosphere to protect their equipment from the intense heat generated during atmospheric entry. Without an atmosphere, the craft itself might not survive the intense heat it'll encounter as it zooms towards the sun. That said, there are a few scenarios where a spacecraft might not need an atmosphere, like if it's made from materials that can withstand extreme temperatures, or if it's traveling fast enough to break through the sun's atmosphere. These possibilities are intriguing, but they also raise questions about what 3 Atlas might be capable of. Is it a benign research probe that's gone awry or something more sinister? It's natural to wonder if something hurtling towards the sun could pose a threat to our planet. After all, it won't be coming much closer than we are. But 3 Atlas isn't expected to get anywhere near Earth's orbit. In fact, it'll swing around the sun and head back out into deep space. So there's no need to worry about a direct collision. And while it might not hit us directly, it could still cause some problems. For instance, if it's a spacecraft, it could deploy equipment that interferes with our communications or surveillance systems, causing chaos on the ground. And if it's not a spacecraft, but an interstellar rock, it could still pose a risk. After all, we haven't seen enough of these objects to know how they behave. It could break apart in ways we aren't prepared for or release materials that harm us. Ultimately, we just don't know enough about 3 Atlas to say for sure, and that uncertainty is unsettling. As we continue to observe 3 Atlas in the lead-up to its closest approach to the Sun, we hope to learn more about its composition and trajectory. Maybe it'll turn out to be nothing more than a boring old rock, or maybe it'll confirm our suspicions that we're not alone in the universe. Either way, one thing's for sure, this interstellar visitor is unlike anything we've seen before. And as we learn more about it, we'll be sharing the latest discoveries with you. So make sure to subscribe for updates. Who knows what we might find out next.